What's up, family? It's your favorite realtor, Earl, realtor with the Bell Tower Real Estate Team of EXP Realty. And on today's show, I have none other than owner, CEO, CFO, and COO of CB's Notary Services, located here in Newport News, Virginia, Miss Crystal Boyd. Crystal, how you doing? Hey, Earl, I'm doing good. Thanks for having me on the show today. I appreciate, you know, some airtime with you. You're very welcome. Very, very welcome. Definitely, I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy schedule because I know you're always busy, you, you know, to, you know, have a few moments and just introduce yourself a little bit, you know, to the people. So without further ado, Crystal, if you don't mind, describe your business and what you do for, um, uh, you know, just in, in general, as far as your service. What is CB, CB's Notary Service? Hi, everyone. Again, my name is Crystal, and I'm a local native here in the area in Newport News. I serve all of the Hampton Roads area pretty much. And what I offer to my clients are, you know, notary services, anything that basically any document that you need notarized, whether it be a power um, of attorney, a will, a trust, um, any documents for school, um, anything important, marriage decree, you know, divorce decrees, really anything that you name, I can take care of it for you. I've done some, you know, criminal backgrounds, just, really anything that needs to be notarized, even if it's a letter for a rental property and you need to let them know this is your income, I take care of, take care of all of that as well. So okay. Okay. I'm your go-to notary. That's right. That's right. Definitely, you know, definitely my favorite notary. You know, that's that's for sure. Um, so, Crystal, I heard you say Newport News native. Why don't you tell the people where you're from? Are you originally from here? Yeah, so actually I'm from Newport News, Virginia. I grew up in the Denby area. Um, born and raised in this area. Um, I look, I said, I'm not going to give you too much of a background, but I started at, you know, Stanford Elementary, graduated from Nashville High. That's my, that's my school, Monarch. go Monarchs, okay? I'm not even, should I say class of 99? Yeah, I am class of 99. That's the best time. Yeah, I, I agree. I'm a class of 99 as well, so I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm old. Yeah, so I mean, I know this area really good, so, you know, this is home for me. Honestly, this is home. Okay. Awesome. 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 And so how did you get started in the notary business? Okay. What happened is I was doing, working for Ferguson Enterprises in corporate, you know, the corporate world mm -hmm. for them. I still actually currently uh, work for Ferguson, which is a really great company. And I ended up having to do um, some document signing for them. And they were like, hey, we need a notary in the office. Um and so I went ahead and filled out the application. I said, hey, I'll go ahead and take care of it. And that's what made me say, okay, I want to be a notary. I started there, but then I also found out later that I could capitalize on it um, more from like a real estate standpoint. And that's where I, that's what I actually specialize in is in real estate signings. Um, so that's actually what got me started in this whole thing. Okay. Okay. That's cool. That's really cool. Like you said, taking your experience, your past experience, and then wrapping into a new business for yourself. That's definitely something that's always, you know, positive and, and forthcoming. Um, what would you say drives you to do what you do? What motivates you? Oh man, that's a good question, Earl. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. This little boy named Avery Evans, that's my son. You know, he keeps me on my toes. This guy, <laughs> he's something else, but he's really my motivation. I mean, that's really the reason why I get up every morning. Um, and not only that, I just feel like, hey, you know, I do have a purpose and I'm here to serve others. So that's why I do what I do. But Avery, he's my heart, um, my everything. Um, he's just very special to me. So that's why I do everything that I do. Um, and I was going to tell you, you know, more on that. I mean, he's autistic as well. So he's very unique. Um, but, yeah, that's the main reason I was going to say why I do what I do. And I'll give you more of that autism story later. That that's probably a whole nother episode. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely, definitely, definitely appreciate that. And you, you know, being a business owner, you know, a lot of people don't know a lot of stuff, or they may assume that it's easy. You make your own schedule, you know, it's easy money, this, that, the third. What is something you would say that most people definitely don't know about business or the notary business as a whole? Yeah, I would say um, really what I'm finding is, you know, I'm right now with me just starting out too, I was like, I'm only one person, right? So I can't be at like two or three places at one time. Um, so I would say at times that gets very challenging. 
So my business right now really is appointment based because I want to make sure that I'm, you know, providing high quality service for all my customers and do it to ensure everything is does it. So I would say that's the most challenging, um, some kind of way. I mean, I don't want to say I'm superwoman, but a lot of times I'm able to, you know, finagle through all that, juggle everything and put it all together. But um, the good thing about the notary business is, you know, you don't have to necessarily notarize everything face to face. So I do offer remote online notarizations. So those that are not able to come visit me at the office, we could do everything electronically, just like how me and you are up here talking, you know, right. um, I do have that ability as well, too. So that's, yeah, that's, that's what I was going to say is the most challenging. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yo, that's that's super, like I said, and that's super cool and convenient for people, especially in today's time. That, that's something that um, the whole pandemic era kind of brought out was the ability for everybody to do things remotely, you know. So yeah. you being able to still conduct your business, you know, whether it's in person or remote is fantastic. You know, that, that works out absolutely great. What would you say, um, just in your personal opinion, your professional opinion, why would you say it's important for people to do business locally or shop locally with small businesses in their communities? I would say, I mean, it's good to be able to network with others. Um, you just don't know, like, you know, you'd be surprised, like, how one business can help another business, you know what I mean, by making that connection with one another. And... um you know, that's why I said in the notary business, I don't even look at myself as competition with other people, you know, because you just never know when you might need. So, like, for instance, there was another notary. He has his own business, but he needed me to be a witness for him. So if I hadn't made that connection with him, you know, um, we wouldn't have been able to connect and help each other out. So, Or if, if there's a time I'm not able to make it, I can always send him out. So I think it's really important to be able to just build those, you know, relationships, friendships, network with one another. That way, you know, everyone's still accomplishing the same goal. Gotcha. That's right. Like you said, the more you network within your community and um, and come together on different business levels, the better you can build the community. You know, and that's definitely something yeah. I'm being echoed across all small businesses, you know, or all businesses in general, not, not just small, but all, you know, community businesses. Um, yeah. So, so outside of business and being a hardworking businesswoman, what other things do you decide um, or you enjoy doing besides business? So besides this, oh man, travel is my thing. Okay. Anytime I can get out, you know, and just travel, see the world, that that's my thing. So if you don't see me in the office, Earl, you know where I'm at on vacation, <laughs> um, sitting somewhere on the island. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's my thing. <laughs> travel. Oh, yeah. um, outside of that, though, I was going to say like just being with my friends and family. I'm I'm huge on that. So you know, that's another thing. They they always come first. Um, so I'm a very family oriented person. If I'm not with family, I'm traveling. And um, I do like spending time to myself, believe it or not. Like, I just like, you know, just self love. That's very important. So, if I need to go out and get a massage or whatever I need to do to take care of me, I'm, I'm doing it too. Oh, yeah. No, that's self love is this definitely. You, you know, you got to have self love before you can give love or time <laughs> to anybody else or anything else. So, I can, I can, I can understand that. Definitely understand that. Okay, Crystal, what's the best way for anybody to get in contact with you um, on any of your platforms? Okay, so if you're trying to reach me, feel free to, you know, you can call or text me. It really doesn't matter what time of night. I know my hours say 8 to 5. I'm answering late at night, 9, nine 10 o'clock, still answering people. But um, my direct number um, to reach me is 757-449-0299. Um, also, if you want, you can um, reach me on my website, which is uh, www.cbsnotaryservices.com. Um, and you can also find me on Facebook as well as Instagram, too. And you just, you know, put in CB's Notary Services. You can find me that way. Um, and you can always shoot me an email. And that's um, info at cbsnotaryservices.com. Okay. Those are a few ways to reach me. Or you can even come to the office. I'm located here at 11825. Rock Landing Drive, Suite 2B. I'm in the York Building in Newport News. So feel free to just swing by, you know, and check me out too. Okay. okay. That's cool. That's cool. Crystal, I really appreciate you taking the time on your business schedule to chat with me and the people today. Um, as you know, my team and I strive to shine light 
on many of the great community businesses that not only serve here in Newport News, but the entire Hampton Roads as a whole. OK, um, so but for this is for you people out there, you know, our fans, people that watch the show. Um, for more information on CB's notary services and Miss Crystal Boyd, be sure to click the link below in the description. So as always, stay safe, stay blessed, stay up.